All right, so critique video. So like I said, I'm going to go over everyone's work. You could always fast forward um, to when I'm talking about your uh, design, your product. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. Um, so we have these people that submitted stuff so far and this week. Um, so start with Brooke. Open it up and... Sorry, Brooke, I'm probably just going to read out loud to myself this first time checking things out. Although I have... Ooh, come on here. Although I have curly hair and truly think that curly hair is awesome, I believe. Myself and others with curly hair can relate. My sister has curly hair, by the way. When humid, raining weather, your hair is frizzy. And that's why I'm inventing a hair cream on my head. Frizzy cream slash moisture gets locked in. So you're creating a... Hair that, a hair cream that will stop curly hair from getting uncontrollably curly. Sounds like cool. I like it. Name for my product. Don't shame it, tame it. So that's more of a, I would say like a tagline or a um, you know a phrase that you would put along with your product, right? You know, you wouldn't necessarily want to. To tell someone is, hey, I'm going to get going to the store to get some. Don't shame it, tame it. That's a you know quite a mouthful. The frizz whiz, I think, is awesome. Um, I just get rid of the and put frizz whiz. I think that would be a little bit better. Um, modest goddess, modest, modest goddess. Not exactly sure what you mean by that. Um, so I'm going to test frizz whiz. I like that a lot. I think it flows off the tongue as well so the frizz whiz i think there is also some simple creative decisions you include some images i wonder what they are of oh you included drawings of it already that's awesome brooke <laughs> frizz whiz cool so you definitely you went above and beyond um okay so the maddest goddess all right I see what you're trying to do there now. Uh, I'm still going to su suggest frizz whiz. Um, so again, don't let these drawings dictate your logo. But you definitely did more than you had to do, which is always awesome. And I appreciate that. Um, frizz whiz. No frizz thanks to the wizard. I like that. Um, maybe don't make it a guy. It looks like it. You know, a guy. Um, you know, I'm assuming this is more a... Not that males couldn't use it, but um, you know, I think in in regards to product design, I think the uh, the female population would be a little bit more subjected to buying this stuff. So, um, like I said, Frizzwiz, and I think you could generate some cool names around that. It seems like you also have some. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, there's female frizz, uh, male frizzes. I think you could have some cool. Designs around the frizz whiz, curly hair, um, wands, things like that, kind of get a little like magical um, logos. So that could work. Um, and you know, you could definitely actually use that little drawing as kind of inspiration around that. Um, but yeah, I would think it would make a little bit more sense with a you know, kind of a neutral type wizard rather than one with a five o'clock shadow. But Frizzwiz, good. Awesome job, Brooke. Awesome job. Next one. Hannah. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see what you got here, Hannah. Oh, I do remember reading this. You were one of the first to submit. Remedy the Cure Vampire Blood. What is the product? This product is a potion of healing for only extreme wood. It comes in a small vial. There is only one dose per box. All you need to do is drink it and stay out of danger for 24-7. Yes, I agree. Staying out of danger is always good. Once it leaves your system, you'll be good as new. Awesome. Hmm. Remedy the cure vampire blood. I like the cure and remedy vampire blood. I'm not a big fan of Vampire Blood as the name. You could try to incorporate, you know, create a, a like a fourth name based on kind of a mixture of all these three. I think, 
you know, what you were going for here, vampire blood could work. However, I wouldn't necessarily want to drink something that is entitled, entitled vampire blood. Because you remember, you had to drink it, and I would be hesitant to drink vampire blood. Okay, um, so you could you could try to tie something in like that, but drinking blood, I'm not sure too many people would want to do that. So I'm going to say the cure and remedy could work um, just fine, and you could also use the cure and remedy and use the vampire theme to kind of generate your logo. So you could have some cool bat shapes and things like that. Um, for your logo creation and if you just look up you know simple bat symbol on Google I'm sure you could find some um, easy enough drawings that you could mimic um, and again you could also do word marks and things like that remedy could probably look cool nice and script like I'm assuming if you did want it to relate the logo to a word mark and it's vampire blood that it would be cool if it kind of looked like scratches so, you know, Remedy is all kind of scratchy and the cure is all scratchy, spelled out. Um, I think that could be cool as well. So, uh, yeah, I definitely like these two names better than Vampire Blood. Not, I wouldn't be jumping at the chance to drink Vampire Blood. So, got an email. Next up is Andrew. What we got here, Andrew? Loading. Still loading. Loading. Product of Pokeball, when you throw the ball, a house appears. Ooh, a house appears, and you can throw it back at and you can throw it back at the house to pick up the house. It's a house for people who are on the move and nomads. I would love to have a Pokeball house. I would love it, love it, love it. I'll travel the world with the Pokeball house. Um so that that is cool. Um however, I do not want you to create a Pokeball for the logo. That will be mere copyright. Say if you know not that we are producing things that are going to be in the real world, but I want to make it as realistic as po uh, as possible. Um, you know, you probably get sued because you're taking Pokemon without their permission. So try to stick with the the house names and don't really bring in the the Pokemon aspect of it too much. Maybe it's just a ball, not a Pokemon ball or a sphere shape. I think that would work. So I think if we change this, a um, you know, from Pokeball to circle shape or you know, just a ball could work fine too. Um, house, Insta House. I like that. Insta House. Let's go with Insta House. House down makes me seem like I want to destroy a house. Insta House is very in relation to the house appears instantly. Um, so it'd be cool to kind of create an Instagram type logo, but it's a house instead of the Instagram logo. Um, that could work. Um, remember, you need ten. So if you just research, you know, uh, construction companies and things like that, I mean, you could find thousands and thousands of inspiration for this type of uh, product. So that this the logo development shouldn't be too difficult for you. Okay, and remember to do load. Uh, Word marks, um, combination marks, or symbols. You can do a combination of both in your sketches or uh, pick one and kind of hone in on which one. But I think Insta House is the best option, Andrew. So good job. Forget about Pokeball. Let's just make it a ball for copyright issues just in case this was a real world product. But uh, Insta House, I like it. Moving forward. Timothy. Timmer, 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 Timmer. All right, my idea for a product is create a thermal can that allows the contacts inside that can heat up or get cold. The design would include a can with a can that could would contain some sort of heating element or cooling element. Of course, it would be safe to consume. This will allow beverages such as sodas or sports drinks to be cold with half having to be refrigerated. Once the can is open, the gas would ignite, either cool or warm up. Imagine being the woods and not being able to have a cold or warm drink a cup of warm soup might probably be able to I like it that's very interesting so what I am a little confused about is do you put the is it a can that you put the drink in and then you heat it up or make it cold or is it something you put into the drink I'm gonna 
assume that you put the drink into the can and then the can can heat it up or cool it down. So it's kind of like of an on-the-go heater slash cooler. Um, Thermocan. I like that name, Thermocan. Cooling cans. Cool cans. Cooling cans, cool cans. So cooling cans is basically you're saying all that it could do is cool it down. So that wouldn't work. Instacan. Mm. Thermocan. Thermocan is like you're keeping it warm. So you have something that keeps things warm and something that keeps things cool and then Instacan. But being that Andrew already has Insta House, I don't want to just basically copy that name and put can on the bottom of it. I, hmm. What could be something that you could do that encapsulates both heating and cooling? You know, I I would want to think of a name that relates to that. So, uh, something like Magic Can would be good. Let me spell Magic with a J. Magic Can would work. Um, what else? I'm trying to think on the spot here. Magic Can. Uh, Wonder can. It's kind of going off your can type of idea. So I think these two would be better. You could pick whichever one. You know, Magic Can, obviously, you could get similar to what I said to Brooke. Is, um, you know, you can get a little creative with, you know, kind of magical type things. Um, Wonder Can, eh, you know, is, is good too. Wonder Can, it's wonderful. But these ones, these ones definitely don't work because you're saying they're either going to do cool or heat you're not going to do both and instacan is you know a little too too easy so let's go with one of these two all right tim um so you can move forward with either magic hand or wonder can and develop your sketches around that if you have any questions but let me know you're good with asking questions so keep it up sam moving forward to sam For my creation, ugh, why does it keep doing that? For my creation, I would create a pill that lasts for a total of 48 hours. This pill allows you to go back into the past and relive your favorite memories. It can be reliving some of the days as a kid, going back to in time, something with loved one, no longer with, and any random day memory. Here's just something to take the pill like any other pill. Take. So it's like a pill time machine. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, if only it was true, right? Back to the past, it's kind of a knockoff of Back to the Future, so I don't, I don't really want to live that one. Relive your timeline. Again, that is kind of more of a, you know, phrase that you would use along with the product name. So that's a little too wordy to be the name of a product. Relive your timeline. Timeline would be a good enough name. Timeline. What does the timeline do? Timeline allows you to go back to the past um, and spend time with the loved one you're no longer with. So I think that timeline itself could be good. And then, like, on your package design, you would have timeline. Relive your timeline or relive your past or something like that. Um, flashback itself would also be good rather than the flashback pill, right? You don't really need... Um, people that are buying it are going to know it's a pill, so you don't really need to say that it's a pill and um, the you know flashback is catchy enough. So I would like you to move with move forward with either flashback as the name of your product or timeline as the name of your product. Um, either one should be easy enough to generate some ideas. Flashback you could easily use arrows. You can draw flashing objects. Um, obviously, you can't animate it but you know you know like a spark of light or something like that um timeline you can make a line with like a you know an arrow going backwards or something like that so there's there's plenty of ideas that you can generate and you could also say if you wanted to sam if you wanted to do five sketches for timeline and five sketches for flashback and see which one you like the most you can pick it that way too i'm fine with that um, but I would definitely use either timeline or flashback for the name and move forward with your sketches that way. Good job, Sam. Katrina. 
Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> All right, product names. Shower sugars. Pucka Pops. Sour sweet. Sounds like we're doing some candy. This candy satisfies your sweet tooth with a sour twist. Mmm, sour candy. Eat it and enjoy the sweet outer shell and then a bit of extreme sour center. Okay. Sour sugars, pucker pops, sour sweets. So, I guess with your product, you did an all right job describing it. However, I don't know if it's a, a, a popsicle. I don't know if it's a sweet, kind of like a Jolly Rancher, sour sugars. I'm thinking of sour sugar. So that's a little confusing as well. So what I would like you to do is kind of think about whether you're going to do a lollipop or if you're going to do like a Jolly Rancher type candy. And then from there, you could kind of pick your design. Okay, so I'm going to say if you're going to do popsicles like a Tootsie Roll, or, uh, Tootsie Roll, a Tootsie Pop or, um, you know, Dum Dum, Pucker Pops would be the option or Sour Sweets. Either of these names are fine on their own. Um, however, you need to kind of develop your product a little more, whether or not it's going to be kind of a sucker or a, you know, uh, uh, a pop, uh, popsicle, a uh, lollipop. I uh, can't believe I couldn't think of that. So just hone in a little bit more on what it is, and then you can start developing your designs with that. And you have, I mean, tons and thousands and hundreds and thousands of resources to look at from different candy logos so um this should be nice and nice and simple enough for you to come up with some designs as well um just look at other candy logos and you know you can develop it that way too a lot of a lot of candy has a lot of word marks uh that's very popular in the candy industry as you probably already know so a word mark might might be the way to go with this um design as well okay so 10 rough sketches showing either a design for lollipops or a design for kind of suckers all right good job amanda oh we got amanda all right nice and big text good my product flavor changing lollipop Ooh, three different names Flavor Explosion, Magic Pop, Amaze Pop. Mm. And this product is a light pop that changes many different flavors while eating. Some craving twists. A light pop that changes tastes. Good. So, similar to Katrina. However, you did a better job honing in on what it is. It's a lollipop. So now I know what I'm kind of envisioning. Um, flavor Explosion, I don't think is as specific enough as it needs to be. Um pop explosion or something like that could work if you wanted to manipulate some of these uh names however maze pop and magic pop could work too however magic pop i feel like there is magic pop out there already and it's like a type of popcorn so yeah now that i'm thinking about it, it might get a little confusing whether it's you know, if I'm just hearing it, if I'm going to be thinking of popcorn or a lollipop, I'm more likely to think of popcorn. So, um, popsicle probably could be work. Amaze popsicle. Um, the amazing popsicle or the magic popsicle. Pop is more related to popcorn, though. So if you wanted to just simply magic popsicle, amaze popsicle, or amaze lollipop, or incorporate it make sure it's nice and clear the name of it is a lollipop not popcorn um and then you could move forward uh with that right so lollipop and amaze lollipop or magic lollipop could work or um the magic pop uh it's kind of similar to magic pop though so uh, it's a little bit of a tough one it's a little bit of a tough one I guess I guess a maze pop and magic pop could work just fine because you know the way we're going to be patch packaging it is going to be clear that it is a lollipop. Yeah, so disregard what I just said. A maze magic pop or a maze pop will work just fine. Okay, so you could develop your uh, logo designs based off of that. No, right? Because it's not going to be a bag. We're putting these things in. We're putting them in a box, and I don't really know too many people or companies that sell popcorn in a box. So you are fine. All right, so develop your uh, logos based off of these two names. Moving forward, Dustin. Let's 
screenshot. All right. Product is a chair. Names, chair in a box, chair to go. Take a seat. This chair goes wherever you go. Open the box and it pops up and you have the cozy, comfortable chair. Great for the beach, the park, kids, sporting events. Nice. Um, chair in a box. Chair to go. Go chair. I think go chair could be cool. Chair to go. Take a seat. Or, um, seat taken. Something like that. Um, I'll say the either chair to go or take a seat is your best option. However, I think it also could be cool to have like go chair as the name of it. Um, or seats. T uh, no, nah, that, that wouldn't be good. For some reason, I really like go chair. So you don't have to change it. Um, um, that I'm just not suggesting you change it either. It's just something I am putting out there. Go chair could be cool. However, chair to go and take a seat could work and um, you can create some cool designs off of that as well um, if you need any help or any more ideas kind of thinking of those rough sketches and what you want to do let me know you can do a simple google search too uh, different you know furniture companies I would think is a good idea to look at um, so but I imagine a lot of kind of light drawings of chairs would be uh what you'll be doing but also you know what does the chair look like too you know I, i'm envisioning kind of like a camping chair um you wouldn't necessarily want to bring a rocking chair to the beach right so you know don't be drawing rocking chairs for your logo you know unless it's a rocking chair that pops out of the box not a you know kind of like a beach chair so all right good job dustin hope that helps tyler Boom, 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 boom. That doesn't look like you, Tyler. Hmm. It must have changed since the last time I seen you. The product I'm designing is a water breathing potion inspired from Minecraft. All right, very good. The potion will last for 10, 10 minutes. Oof. Got to make the mess out of that 10 minutes. And will let you breathe underwater and above water. So both. Okay. Aqua Res. Shark juice, gilly, ooh, gilly guy. For some reason, I like the name of that, gilly guy. I feel like it's a name you could call someone that loves fishing or something. But uh, I, I like that name, gilly guy, Tyler. I like that. I like it a lot. Um, that would be my suggestion, gilly guy. Um, shark juice, nah, I don't like shark juice. Aqua res could work, too. My breathing water portion lets anyone who drinks it breathe underwater. To use it, you just must take the, ooh, and it's got a cork top. All right, that's very fancy. And drink it. It is made for people who cannot afford scuba gear and want to explore any body of water. Cool, man. I like it. Uh, so yeah, you have you have the whole world of water-related logos to look from f for inspiration. Um, you know, I think kind of any type of scuba gear could really work for your logo. A snorkel could be really cool. Um, there's a movie. Oh, Star Wars. I think it's like the, the one of the new, not the newest, but the second round of Star Wars that was made. They, uh, they like eat something or put something on their mouth and they're able to breathe underwater. Like that would be cool to look at for reference too. But good job, Tyler. It made me laugh. Good job. Nadia. Flying Potion, the wing drink, wings in a bottle, butterfly drink. Gives you the ability to fly. Nice. For who? People who want to fly. How do you use it? You can buy a can of it and drink it. Nice. <laughs> buy a can of it and drink it. Very, seems like it's very easy to use, which is good. All right. So going to names, the wing drink, wings in a bottle, butterfly drink. I like butterfly drink the most because, and this might just be me, but I love chicken wings. So when I saw wing in a bottle, wings in a bottle, I'm thinking like a chicken wing in a bottle. Even That, that might be com the complete opposite, obviously, of what you were thinking of. But for some reason, I just think of that. So regards of just names to you know clarify things a little better, I think the butterfly drink will be good too. And I think you'll have a little bit more fun designing logos for the butterfly drink rather than the wing drink or wings in a bottle and also the wing drink 
you know, what am I just going to have one wing and be flying in a circle? Anyways, I like the butterfly drink, so I suggest you go with that, and you can develop your ideas around the butterfly drink, Nadia. Good job. Flying potion. Jessica. What we got? Three potential names for my brand. What is your brand? I'm going to read your products before I read your names. Your names. My product adds flavor to any type of drink you want and make it taste the best it can. It is for flavoring your drink and making it taste good. You use it by squirting the juices of, of the bottles into your drink and mix. Then it will be better than before. All right. So kind of like an existing product, right? Um, another weird picture for flavors unknown. Why would I want to squirt something into a bottle where I don't know what the flavor is? Seems a little contradictory there. Flavors for you. That seems more like a phrase, not necessarily a product. The perfect flavor. Hmm. Adds flavor to any type. So, I guess it's the problem here is you have what you want. You have the the product that it's you're going to be adding flavor to your drink. All right. So flavor unknown is a bad one because you're telling me every time you buy it, I have no idea what flavor I'm going to be squirting into my drink. And if it's grapefruit, I'm going to be very upset because I hate grapefruit. Flavors for you again isn't necessarily that that could work, but it's more of a phrase. Um, the perfect flavor. The perfect flavor could work because I could see that having multiple things under it and say if it's, you know, I'm buying the grape version of the perfect flavor. I know it's going to be a perfect flavor of grape. If I'm, you know, the strawberry version is going to be the perfect flavor of strawberry. So I think the perfect flavor could work. And you could also, just like many of <clears throat> things, you can get rid of the. So just perfect flavor could work. Um, perfectly perfect flavor. perfect flavor um so i like that um and then you could you know think of don't necessarily think of logos that are of a grape or of a banana because then you're saying that it, that everyone is going to be banana so think of like just basic drink related shapes it might be cool to combine like the p and perfect and f and flavor or create a word mark um, rather than doing a symbol, um, you know, like Gatorade has the G as their symbol. Um, body Armor has Body Armor, the word mark. So you might want to think of doing a word mark for in your sketches. Um, but you could also try some combination marks and things like that too. I'm not saying you have to, but um, it just might be easier um, because you know, you're going to have multiple flavors. So you don't want to draw, you know, a picture of an apple and then you know be selling things that taste grape um so there you go hope that helped and last one hopefully not least hopefully we get some more submitting them in this is dane loading still loading all right so let's see the product i'm gonna read the product before i look over the flavors my product is an immortality drink our main demographic is elderly for those with terminal illness. To use the drink properly, you must first eat solid food. I love this description so far, Dane. Wait 5 to 15 minutes, then consume the drink. That's when the nanobots... <laughs> nice. Love it. The liquid absorbs into the food, and once, um, once it enters the bloodstream, the nanobots found within the liquid travel through the bloodstream and automatically seat out the rejuvenated damaged cells. Awesome. Sounds like in this day and age, we could really use this type of product. So now looking at the names. Unmortal. Liquid Life. Forever Essence. Honestly, Dane, I like all of them. I like all of them. I, I'm going to give you free range, whether you know you can choose any one, man. Uh, I think they all could work. They all could yield some different designs. As I, I, I think I was to Sam, I said it, if you wanted to kind of break it up and do like five sketches for Liquid Life and five for Forever Essence and see which, you know, name yields the best design, you can do it that way too, okay? So you don't have to do 10 for Liquid Life even though you kind of like Forever Essence or you kind of like this one too. Um, or you could do five for each, 
um, or three for two and four for another one. Just make sure you have a total of ten. But I'm gonna give you free range, man. I like all these all these names. So, all right, everybody, that is it. Hopefully this helped you. If you have any questions, please ask away. Enjoy your weeks. Your week.